Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. The last break of our night is going to be 2019 Tops Triple Threads Baseball. Nine box, inner case, pick your team number five. And it's from a fresh master case. Now this case is a little special because, look at this. It says, it has a sticker that says, contains inner cases. I don't know if that's from the manufacturer or for the distributor. Maybe probably the distributor. Anyway. Here are the folks that picked their teams. Appreciate it. Pick your team five. Bill, Last Bot, Mojo, Twins. And there's some RNBs right there, random number block teams like this one. Angels, Yankees, random number block. And we posted um, the video of this. It's in a separate video, that is. Now, I don't think we need more toner. I think the toner is being too aggressive right here because the text is pretty crisp. But I think it's the it's the the drum, the wheel, something in there is making this happen like this. I don't know. We got to fix that one. All right. So there you go. There's that one. Good luck, everybody. Oh, let's pick which one we're gonna get here. I don't know. I think I think the guys at the guys at uh, the men and women at Big Toner, the Big Toner industry, just trying to get us to buy original manufacturer toner. All right. So we're gonna go. One, two, three for the top inner, and four, five, six for the bottom inner. And we're gonna use that one right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's three, so we're gonna do the top one. One, two, three. Where's Sharpie? Right. So this bottom one, We'll save for pick your team. Kind of hard to write at this angle. Pick your team number six. And we'll, and X marks the spot in that one right there. Whoa, 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 Brian! Oh, yeah, this is a family show. We're, we're, I'm. It's like, like big tobacco, big toner. You know, the big medical insurance companies. Big toner. I'm just trying to get you to get the original toner. Otherwise, they say, oh, it's going to mess up your printers, but it really won't. They'll tell you that your toner is at 0% on your computer. There'll be a convenient update for it. But you know that it still prints out fine. You just shake the toner a little bit and it works. Now they're trying to get you, if you got an ink toner, they're trying to get you to buy like, oh, you know, why don't you buy like the, the monthly ink program and we'll deliver like a bottle of ink to you every day and... Wait till someone blows the whistle on, on Big Toner. It'll be the scandal of the century. It looks like a book right there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, Brian. Just like when your car run, still runs at 0% oil level. Exactly. What's up, Jonathan Kent? What's going on? Yeah, I, Mojo Jojo, I feel like it's, ooh, it's a big book right there. Look at that. Whoa. What is that?
There's Alex Gordon, 299. Mario Rivera to 199. Abreu to 199. Jose Ramirez. I'm going to put, where am I going to put all these? I'll put all these over here. Wow. It's a DECA autograph relic book. DECA autograph relic book. First, there's Freddie Freeman to 36. That'll be for the Braves. That's going to go to Randy Ramos. Here are the base cards right here, the non-numbered ones. Yeah, that particular one, Sean Corbett, you're right. That's one happy person and multiple sad people unless it's all one team. I don't know if there's all one teamers, are there? We're going to find out in just a second. We got Pedro Martinez. Everyone remembers him as a Met. 9 out of 18. Met legend going to Mary Lou. There's Philippe Vasquez. Not much to say about him. Pirates, Levi. Oh, this is a, I think it's only one player. It's Deca Autograph Relic book card. It's just one player. It's nine out of, so it's 10 relics, not 10 autographs. It's Juan Soto. For a second there, I thought it was going to be 10, 10 relics and 10 people. and No, just one person. It's Evan Levine with the Washington Nationals. Juan Soto, who might be, I don't know, depending on how the rest of the World Series goes, could be your World Series MVP. He's got a good shot at it. There's like nine more of those out there in the world, too. That's pretty nice. It's going to fit into a slider box right here. There you go, Evan. Evan, what a day for Evan. Evan's been having an incredible day of breaks. Nice. Next box. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because we, we pulled one of those the other day. I, the, the, de the DECA books are a lot fatter. They won't go into that slider box. John Samuelson, what's going on? Haven't seen you in a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe after I, maybe I, maybe now I think they're all like a zillion auto books now. Fifty auto book right here. <laughs> it's going well, John Samson. We the the folks here have been keeping me pretty busy all this week, so. It's not even Friday yet. I'm pretty exhausted. Oh, we did a 41 box football mixer today. Maybe that's why. All right. We got Ricky Henderson to 99. Jose Barrios to 259. Garrett Cole to 299. Hank Aaron. Base cards. And we've got for the Mets, Triple Relic and Autograph, Ahmed Rosario. 13 out of 18. Mary with the Mets. 
Yeah, why have you not been around? Job, new job, killing you. You have to go to bed like at 8? That's... L it's disappointing. There's Andrew Benintendi, 1 out of 9. Red Sox. Fong with that one. Nope, all base chips, unless you're in a number block. Only in number blocks do the non-numbered base not ship. Everybody else, everything ships. 15 out of 18, making them count. Carlos Correa. Astros are a number block team. That's our first number block hit. So Houston, five right there. Goes to, goes to Dwayne. Dwayne with Houston, five. There's Luke Voigt. Pinstripe jersey and autograph. Oh, you're teaching middle school, but you've been doing elementary, so it's like learning a new language. Oh, man. Middle school kids. Got to watch out for those. I was a terror in middle school, John. I was pretty good in elementary school. But their lives are changing. Their bodies are changing. You know? Lot, lot going on there. Um, we have not hit anything for the Yankees. Oh, wait, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That goes to number one, 21 out of 50 for Luke Voigt. Sorry, that goes to Levi, Yankees one. Sorry, Brad. It's been a long day. Well, all you got to do, John Samuelson, is you introduce the hobby to your to the students and somehow work, in, work together Jaspies and grading and whatnot. I don't know. All right, there's Andres Gall, Raga to 259, Ted Williams 299, Roberto Clemente to 199, Barry Larkin. And wow, a triple relic, triple auto, and they're all Mets. Jacob deGrom, Noah Syndergaard, Zach Wheeler. 23 out of 27 for Mary Lou and the Metropolitans. Nice one for the Mets. Luis Severino, 12 out of 36. That's for the number block team. Brad with... Yankees 2. For the Brew Crew, we got Ryan Braun. 12 out of 36. 300 homers, 1200, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. That's for Johnny O and the Brewers. And there is Sky Bolt. 18 out of 99 for the A's. TJ Leonard with the Athletics. All right, that's the first third of the case. Uh, no, Rex, I have not. We have. There's only been two Yankees, and none for five. I'm going to have to write John Samuels in a note or something like that. I'm going to have to write, write his principal a note. Dear, dear John Samuelson's principal. I think, uh, I think maybe John Samuelson shouldn't have so many papers to grade. He's got Jaspies to watch. Maybe, maybe come up with some sort of medical condition. Yeah, I thought that pack looked a little thicker too, but no, not non-book.
There's Pedro Martinez, Derek Jeter, Nolan Ryan, Reese Hoskins. Yeah, let's stop assigning so many things you have to grade, John Samson. That's the easy part. Just be like, all right, uh, just a lot of the. I don't know. Do you guys have a? Do they still do kids still do scantrons these days? Scanning things, you bubble forms or whatever they call them back then. Just get them. Just get. Just do a lot of those stuff. Something you can just put into a machine. Fernando Tatis Jr. Wow, triple relic and autograph, 8 out of 50. And that Padres are a number block team. Uh-oh. Padres, 8. Jim Morin, Padres, 8. Nice one, Jim. We got some rays. We got Tommy Pham. There you go, fam. 25 out of 36. Peter Eng and the Rays. That's on card, too. There's Ross Stripling. Six out of nine. Nice. Ross Stripling, Triple Relic from the All Star game. That's from my Dodgers, Ken McLeod, with the boys in blue. And there's Tommy Pham again, this time with ink. 28 out of 99. There's Brian, Brian Peoples. He's like, come on. I have, I've got spots 1 through 10 on that one. What'd you hear, Sean? Just arbitrary numbers? We were just we were talking about you earlier today, Brian Peoples. We were like, we gotta we gotta look at. Someone asked us about swag, and that re reminded me that I have to go through the go through your website. I printed out your email. Yeah, Liam, more Scantron so John Samuelson can break with us. That's what I say. Yeah, we browsed we we browsed around it for a little bit. Get some swag. I think it was actually Brian O in the chat who was asking us about future swag. I remember the Titans, Brian O. We are the Titans. Mighty, mighty Titans. There's Babe Ruth to 199. Aaron Nola to 299. David Ortiz to 299. Trevor Story to 75. All right, beyond Altuve is is Altuve. Four out of nine hits in bunches, and Astros are gonna need some hits in bunches. So that's a number block team. Houston four is Jake Reams. There you go, Jake. And there's Herman Marquez. Eight out of twenty-seven. That's for the Rockies. Another number block team. Jim Morin with Rocky Colorado 8. So John Samson, oh yeah, teaches technology. John, you can just tell, teach him about new live streaming technology in this medium right here, what, what I'm doing right here. Huh? We got a flashy sign. We live stream on YouTube. This is an emerging industry. 15 out of 36 late walk-off, Matt Olson. Yeah, maybe we'll 3D print some, some baseball cards. 
You know, hey, look at this emerging economies, local business, small businesses, big world. We broadcast from coast to coast and all around the world. There's Dylan Cousins, jersey and autograph, 21 out of 99. Robotics, John Samuelson, beep, boop, beep. I can, we can robot right here too. See, you can, I think you're smart enough, John, to find creative ways to mix Jaspies with your teachings. Phillies are a number block team. Phillies won. Kenton on the board. All right, next box. <laughs> Bill's Bill saying earlier, it looks like number six sucks. No, the only only teams and numbers that don't hit suck. Right? You can get the quote unquote best number or the best team, but if it doesn't hit, that's the sucky number now. And people want people ask, what's the best team? What's the best number to get? The one that hits, that's the best one to get. Ooh, Brian Peebles picked up a green wave and a blue wave top cone piece, non auto PSA ten in the last couple of weeks. Nice. You you might have you know, you might be working your way towards a, a hell of a collection, Brian Peoples. I think he's the real deal. Someone like Fernando Tatis Jr., I feel like not only is their ceiling really high, but their floor is also really high, too, if you want to use, like, you know, ceilings and floors as, as, as a measurement. There's Bregman. Springer to 259, Halliday to 299, or Clemente to 99, which I think is great. High ceiling for these prospects. Nice, John. You finished up your 1718 uh, Spectra Basketball White Sparkle set. Won the LeBron auction today. They're like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. One through 100. You guys, send me a picture of that. I want, I want to check that out. That sounds cool. All right. Behind Alex Gordon is Ryan Baruki, Blue Jays. 31 out of 75. That is for Evan, who got the Blue Jays straight up. Yes, we have, Ryan. Whenever you, Ryan knows, saying, whenever I'm selling to come in, in robotics and aerospace, the warehouses blow your mind. Are there, like, secret technology in there? Gary Sanchez. Looks like a little bit of infield dirt in there too. Looks a little looks a little reddish like dirt. Infield dirt. 16 out of 27, Gary Sanchez. There are game used. So Yankees six. Bradley. Then we've got a triple relic for the Orioles. Three out of eighteen. Calgren Jr., Trey Mantini, Roberto Almar. And putting Trey Mancini with those two guys? All right. Jim Warren with the O's. All right. I mean, Adam Jones maybe would fit in there, but I'm not sure if Trey Mancini's quite at that level yet. And more Yankees. Luis Severino. Jersey and autograph. That's 28 out of 75. Bradley. Yankees, 8. Three boxes to go. Not sure why they would throw. I'm sorry, watching. I know this is a baseball break, but I was just watching the Dwayne Haskins, quarterback for the Redskins on SportsCenter being interviewed here. And their SportsCenter is like flashing like this stats, like zero TDs and a zillion, like four interceptions in his first two games. But that, that doesn't help the kid, does it? Why are the Redskins throwing that kid out there anyway? They, they might ruin him. And then idiot fans will be like, oh, Haskins sucks. Let's get rid of Haskins. Boo Haskins. And then he's bouncing around the league like Josh Rosen. 
All right, there's Roy Halladay at 259. Jacob DeGrom to 259. Trey Mancini to 199. Byron Buxton to 259. There are the base cards. Kirsch, Cabrera, Mattingly, and K-Line. Why did they throw Daniel Jones out there? I think, I think Daniel Jones was more was more QB ready. Was more ready for the for the big time than Haskins was. Ninety nine out of ninety nine triple relic. Like, they knew they had to replace Haskins, or they knew they had to replace Eli somewhat immediately. Phillies are a number block team, by the way. Sorry, and so that's why I think they got a quarterback that they thought was more ready, closer to ready. It's nine. Jim Warren with nine. Brett Gardner, 36. 17 out of 36. Jim Warren with New York seven. Liam was asking Joe, not that I don't really care about, but do you think Javier Baez is being picked for the cover? Oh, what do I think for Javier Baez being picked for the cover? Uh, I'll be the show. Why? Why would they put Javier Baez on the cover of the show? Does, aren't there other players that could be on there? NL MVP, Christian Yelich. Out of 35, Joey Lucchese. Padres, oh, our number block team, sorry. So Padres one is Kenton. Wade Boggs reveals a Kyle Freeland. 89 out of 99 for the Rockies. Rockies 9, Jim Morin. Two boxes to go. I think Daniel Jones is doing fine, though, actually. Brian O. Oh, because Keenum was out in the game with concussion. Oh, I see. That makes sense then. Oh, well, that makes more sense why Haskins was out there. Sometimes you feel like a book. And McCoy was inactive tonight, so, well, okay. Well. I don't know. I like Haskins, but I I I I think the 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 commentary from the so-called experts was that if the Redskins could, they would in essence redshirt him his first year and just let him ma marinate. You know what I mean? And just kind of learn the system and everything. Whereas Daniel Jones, I think, was was more prepared from the get to replace if needed. There's two DECA autograph relic book cards in this. Think about, we had three triple relic, triple autos in the first inner case, right? We had another triple relic, triple auto in this case, and now there's our second DECA autograph relic book card. What a, what a master case. Or no, we got, those are two different master cases actually, weren't they? One was a random team, this was the pick your team. We, we must have loaded cases. Josh Bell to 199, Yvonne Rodriguez to 299, Jackie Robinson, Nolan Arenado. New NFL, <laughs> just play your QBs now, then toss them in the fire if they don't work out. See ya. I would agree with you, but I think the, you know, credit to the Redskins, I think they were actually looking ahead. <laughs> Twenty-six out of twenty-seven runners in scoring position. Andrew Benintendi, Fong with the Red Sox, and behind Josh Hader is nice Nick Senzel for the Red Legs. Eighteen out of ninety-nine. Gary Fig with the Reds. I think Gary F. That's the first time I called your number in this. There you go. There is Jose Abreu, 7 out of 18. White Sox, Jim Morin. 
with the White Sox. We've got Willie McCovey to 75. Clayton Kershaw to 249. Blake Snell, Cal Rubkin Jr. We're just talking about Javier Baez right here. Gary was sweating it. Sweat no more. Nice Senzel. On card, too. All right. Are you serious, Liam? Well, nice. You learn something new every day, man. Does that look like a Braves A? It is. It's Greg Maddox. Nice. Eight out of ten on that one. Some pieces of his lumber. Chicks dig the long ball. There's his autograph right there. And there's the other side of the book right there. That is sweet. Nice. Braves, Randy Ramos. Who I think, there he is, Mojo Joe, who I think wasn't getting a lot of success in previous Braves breaks. He bought him in a number of breaks. I guess like the fifth time was the charm. Appreciate you, keep, you continuing to try. There's a number of stories where Greg Maddox had so much control over his pitches that he would know how the batter would swing at it and where it would end up. Look at the Wikipedia page. There are a number of stories like this. I, I need, maybe Jaspi's Productions has to get on this, but I wish like ESPN or somebody would like 30 for 30 or YouTube or Netflix or something like that would do like a, a a story on that. Just that's how locked in he was. In his prime, he'd just be able to do that. That's a great book. Greg Maddox. I think his brother Mike Maddox still a pitching coach somewhere for a major league team. I forget which one. Whoa, Brian Peoples. How long did you have that one locked and loaded, ready to fire? Brian Peoples says, I, I, I hired Greg Maddox to paint my house, but he only painted the corners. Is that a Brian Peoples original, or did you did you get that steal that from somewhere? I don't think I've ever heard that before. And I watch a lot of baseball. Man, that was good. This is from Greg Maddox's Wikipedia page. Maddox has been credited by many of his teammates with a superior ability to outthink his opponents and anticipate results. Braves catcher Eddie Perez tells the story of Maddox intentionally allowing a home run to Jeff Bagwell of the Astros in anticipation of facing Bagwell in the playoffs months later. On one occasion, while sitting on the bench, Maddox once told his teammates, hey, watch this, we might need to call an ambulance for the first base coach. The batter, Los Angeles' Jose Hernandez, drove the next pitch into the chest of the Dodgers' first base coach. Maddox had noticed that Hernandez, who'd been pitching, pitched inside by the Braves during the series, had shifted his batting stance slightly. Who does that? On another occasion, a former teammate outfielder Marquise Grissom recalled in a game in 1996 when Maddox was having trouble uh, spotting his fastball. Between innings, he told Grissom, Gary Sheffield is coming up in the next inning. I'm going to throw him a slider and just make him mi just miss it so if he hits it to the warning track. So if he hits it, it, go it goes to the warning track. The at-bat went as Maddox had predicted. Isn't that ridiculous? I think both Maddox brothers also good golfers, maybe good poker players too. I think they're from Vegas. 
Well, that was that was a good one, Brian Peoples. A stolen, but it was awesome. Yeah, no, I I, I like that one. That's good. Fun facts of Brian O. Mike Max, oh, pitching coach for the Carlins. Yeah, Jonathan Kent saying that too. And while while yeah, I did hear about that. He did get two holes in one while the national while they were in Washington D.C. Two holes in one. Jim Palmer to ninety nine. David Ortiz, Zach Granke, George Springer. I did see the Maddox Chris Bryant like prank or whatever it was. That was pretty good. That's worth a watch after this after this break is over. Go watch that. That's actually really good. I got to rewatch that tonight. Yeah, Maddox dresses up like a sound guy. He's holding the boom mic and everything. He's got like a mustache and this like this big like camera vest with like lenses in his vest and, and everything. And and he's like, and he's just like, oh, I, I could I could pitch BP, no big deal. And then Chris Ryan's like, sure, whatever. You know, it's like this weird camera guy. And then Maddox is like doing it, and Matt and uh, Bryant's mic'd up, and he's like, oh, this guy's okay. And then at one point he's like, did he just throw me a curveball? Because like, and it was a good curveball too. Like it, it has a good snap to it still. And because Maddox spun one in there, threw a spinner in there, and he was just like, what? <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, one out of nine. Carlos Correa, seventy games, no errors, steady with the glove. That goes to Astros one, Kenton, with that one. That's pretty cool. It's a nice color in there. And there's Jeremy Jeffries. 15 out of 25 for the Royals. That's going to go to Sanford. Got KC straight up. Yes, the second. That, I think I marked it, right? Yeah, I did. Yep, so the second half, I marked pick your team six. So we, know it's from the, so we specifically know it's from the same master case. All right, and the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. We got something for the tribe. It's a one of one, Jose Ramirez. Power and speed. Cleveland Indians, Tim Thorsett. Tim, not called your name out all break. But here's a nice one, a one of one. Had a slow start to the season, but then started getting really hot. Some nice color in there too. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And the last one behind Carlos Correa is his teammate George Springer. Astros trying to stay alive tomorrow. Two out of nine on that one. Houston two is Juan with the George Springer. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Join us tomorrow and we'll watch those Astros in Washington, D.C. Um, we'll break some more baseball. We'll even do some football, basketball whatever else, a hockey, all sorts of stuff on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jaspie, Thanks for watching us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.